Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. Uh, today I thought I'd give you a bit of a uh, tutorial on uh, fixing some issues with WHD load on the Amiga. So if you guys out there that have an Amiga and have a WHD load type setup, uh, sometimes you'll get some kind of errors that appear when you try to load a game or play a game. And um, I'm going to show you how to fix the most common one. And it's called a NMI auto vector issue. And um, it usually... Um, happens on the kind of lower spec Amigas like the A500 and the A600s. Um, anything that has an accelerator like an 030 or higher typically um, is not affected by this. Although actually I do have um, my A500 now with has my 030 accelerator card in there and I'm actually getting um, these issues in some games. So um, I just wanted to show you, uh, I guess, show you what the problem is and um, how to fix it. Um, so let's... Uh, load one of these games actually let me just jump into my uh, games menu here and uh, this happens on a couple of games that I have and one that uh, is notorious is Populous 2 by Bullfrog so let me load that up and uh, if I yeah, as you can see, bang, it's it's crashed. Uh, and you, as, as you can see, the uh, the message there, hopefully you can see that on the screen, it's exception NMI auto vector. And you really only have a couple of options here. You can quit or restart. Um, if you restart, it'll, it'll restart the game, but it will just crash again, um, or you can just quit. Now, um, there's a couple of other games that I have um, that this occurs on as well. Um, in fact, I haven't gone through all my WHC load games here. It may actually happen um, in a lot of different places, but there's two ways to fix this, and uh, um, I'll show you both solutions. Um, you can basically do it at the game level, or you can edit a preference file, which will um, fix it for all your games. Um, so if you want to have more control, uh, you can do it uh, at the game level. So to show you how to do it at the game level, if you go into your games folder and click on peeve and open up the populous 2 folder and I'm assuming that you've got your uh, WHG loads in a folder called games you, you know if you have a different type of setup um, it may be somewhere else but basically navigate to your um, your drawer where your uh, game is and in this case it's populous 2 um, and if you right click and click on information um, you can see here you have what's called tool types and this is basically where you can put in command line options and different things, different switches to make things work, uh, to, to change things around. Uh, the cool part about WHD load is there's a, a lot of different switches and command line options and configuration options um, to make these things work on almost any Amiga really, even um, the notorious 68040. Um, will have certain things you can do to uh, make uh, compatibility a lot higher um, than than you know what, what what's used to on a no 40 type setup. But um, to fix Populous 2 um, or any game, uh, if you click on New, it'll create a new tool type, and you can see uh, I've got a cursor here. And what I want to do is type in the word No Auto Vec. That is No Auto Vec, and just press Enter. And you can see it's added that tool type to my list and I can save that. Um, and just to confirm that it's there, if I right click and click information, you can see it's, it's added that tool type. Now, if I run the game again, it shouldn't give me a problem this time. And, uh, well, I'm not going to play this uh, too long, but as you can see, it hasn't crashed. Uh, so that's taking care of that issue. Um, so, yeah, that's that's working. And uh, so let, let me show you another um, a way to fix this. So... I've kind of illustrated how to do it at the game level. You can also do it at a um, preferences level. Um, and another game that I'm, I have trouble with is uh, Snow Bros, which is an unreleased uh, game that never came out um, on the market. It was uh, found and, and kind of dumped a couple of years ago. And it's, it's actually a very cool uh, 
conversion of the uh, Toll Plan arcade game, actually. So if I run this game here, and I get my trusty uh, gamepad here. Start game. As you can see, same problem occurs. Uh, NMI auto vector error. Now, again, what we could do is, oops, clicked on uh, make core dump. But what we could do is right click and say um, icons information and add a new tool type called uh, no uh, auto vec in the list. Here is what we did with populous. Um, that would work fine, but it gets a little bit kind of tiresome or cumbersome when you have, uh, you know, a thousand WHD load games and you're kind of fixing them one at a time. So let me show you a way to actually make this work kind of um, uh, globally. So if you uh, have a text editor or a Dopus or something, let me kind of show you what you need to do. If you uh, click on run and go to directory Opus and you go to your S partition. So I'm just going to uh, type in S and uh, colon there and you scroll down, there's going to be, um, this is where your, all your WHD load stuff lives. So your, your key file is in whdload.key and there's also a .preferences file, or .prefs file. Now what you want to do is basically edit this file with uh, a text editor. Um, and in Dopus uh, I've got um, an edit icon here which is just assigned to a, a text editor. So I click on edit. Uh, this is opening the global preferences for WHD load. Uh, and there's a, there's a ton of different things you can set up here, um, depending on, on your, your configuration, um, quite honestly. So, as you can see, there's a switch here for no auto vec, which is the same thing that we did in the Populous 2 when we added that as a tool type um, in the information uh, menu. So, uh, the, the semicolon. Um, means that this particular switch is commented out. So if I just go ahead and uncomment that out, so I've uncommented no auto vec from my global preferences and I save and I quit, uh, that's all I need to do. Now that that particular no auto vec switch has um, taken across the board. So now if I load my Snow Bros game run games and right there start the game. As you can see, it's uh, working. So yeah, it's uh, looking a lot better now than it did before. You can actually uh, play these games. So yeah, this is just a, uh, I guess a small tutorial on how to fix, you know, one of the most common WHD load errors that you'll, you'll come across. Um, so yeah, I hope someone, uh, was, I hope you guys got something out of this video, especially if you're a me guys. Uh, but in any case, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.